Hello there. Welcome to Densha Protocol Tech. So today I'll be showing you how to set up a 4K monitor that's also 144 hertz. So the monitor I chose was the Nitro XV3 by Acer, and it's a FreeSync monitor. So it works with Radeon video cards, but the bonus is it's actually NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. So it can also work with NVIDIA uh, graphic card. And so what what's this, this sync is uh, to prevent uh, image tearing when you play games. And, and then this monitor is a 4K, so that's great for viewing movies and videos. And and more like an added bonus of HDR 400, so uh, it can it can produce an HDR content, but as you know, HDR 400 is not true HDR. It kind of just make the image brighter, but doesn't really get the HDR effect. And I think this part is really nice where the DCI is cover ninety percent of the color space, but another thing is uh the delta of the error of the color is less than one. So this is actually really good, uh, for content creation, and of course uh we want to play games sometimes, so we want a fast monitor, and so this monitor also is a uh, hundred forty four hertz, so that that's great, and then one uh millisecond response time. So it's kind of like uh, between both worlds, uh, good for movie viewing and playing games. So this is the uh, FreeSync monitor, but Acer also has the G G uh, G Sync monitor of the same thing, but just have G Sync. But it's a bit more, a few hundred more, bucks more expensive. So um, I think the X V three is a better deal here, and it's also G Sync compatible. But if if you really want the HDR, then uh, the Predator X twenty seven is is the best. Um, so everything the same, four K one hundred forty hertz. But it also has HDR a thousand nits. So which is what you say would say the true uh, HDR, and then and then it has a true backlight zone. I mean, well, three hundred eighty four backlight zone. So dark and bright area can be more differentiated. So uh, this is my monitor, and then as you can see here, uh, right now it's running 144 hertz, and then as you see here, um, yeah, it's 4K, 144 hertz, and 10 bits. So, uh, so I'll go over how to actually set this up. So the first thing you need to worry about is the connection. So it's actually uh, not possible to transmit 4K content at 144 hertz over just a display port. Uh, the display port just don't have enough bandwidth to transmit it. So, so what uh what <clears throat> the Acer come up with is to actually have uh two displays for. So as you can see uh in this uh, Mac MacBook Pro uh with the four Thunderbolt ports, uh, I I here connect two display port and you can see right here, and right here, uh they both go to the monitor, so. With with two display for then it's possible to uh, transmit four uh, K at one hundred forty four hertz. So after you connect two display ports uh, to your monitor, you actually need to uh, configure the monitor to to use the two inputs. So uh, on your monitor button right corner, uh, if you uh, press the button that turn on the menu, and then uh, go down to system. And from system, you you keep going down until you see uh, 144 hertz uh, 4K mode. And then you want to actually switch it on. So switch it on. Uh, so when you switch it on, this will, will, the monitor will actually read from two display port to display the screen. To check if we actually have the correct refresh rate, you can click anywhere uh, on the desktop, any empty space. And then uh, choose a uh, display setting. And from display setting, uh, you can go down and click advanced display settings. Uh, and advanced display setting, you uh, pick your monitor. And then you can see if it's actually a uh, refresh rate, is it 144 hertz? 
So uh, the first time I actually did it uh, is uh, it's actually not 144 hertz. So what you need to do is you press this, and then there's a pop up here. Uh, so what happened is uh, be because in the beginning uh, your your monitor it, with one display floor is only 60 hertz. So it's, so when you turn on the the 4K 144 hertz mode, you actually see something like this. Uh, very weird. Um, it's like the the screen showing like like left half of the screen or the right half of the screen. Uh, that's probably because um, it's actually only showing uh, one display per output, which is half the screen. So w when this happened, uh, you you just need to uh come come here and and change your refresh rate to one hundred forty four hertz, and then once you do that, uh. Your monitor will will show uh the correct, well, will show the full screen from two display port like, like this. And actually, another issue I had when I did it was uh, when I tried to see the display setting. Uh, th this window is actually like somewhere on the other half, and I couldn't see it on my screen. So what you could do is once you op uh, click it open, uh, you can try to maximize the window so on the on the win so you can press uh alt space or option space on on mac and then this thing will pop up assuming th this window is on the like a hidden you can see it so once this after you press alt space uh, you you click the down arrow five times so one two three four five and press enter and this hopefully maximize this screen. So then you can change the refresh rate to 144 Hertz to get the correct uh, uh, screen size. Another thing to mention is that uh, even with a 4K high refresh rate, uh, the color space output here is actually, as you can see, the full RGB uh, output space uh, at 10-bit. At so this is great. Um, it, it's unlike some other monitor where they have to uh, down sample some, with something something called like the chromo down sampling uh, to to output. Uh, this is because using two display ports, uh, it's enough. There's enough bandwidth uh, to output the full color space at a 4K and high resolution. All right, so firing up a game just to test. Uh, this is a Overwatch. Uh, if you check option. video yep so you definitely see uh it's 4k 144 hertz and when you play test it uh it's actually a uh, very buttery smooth so that'll be all um hopefully you are able to successfully set up your monitor and another thing to note is uh i actually have my mac uh connect to an external gpu that connect to a monitor because as you know, uh, running uh, 4K 144 hertz is very uh, requires all the processing power. So if you use an external GPU, you can actually put a desktop grade uh, GPU to run with your Mac on this 4K display, and that should give hopefully enough uh, power to run your games. So yeah, if if this is something you'd like to see, please uh, leave a comment and I'll make a video. And if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. This will actually be very encouraging for me since this is my first video. And so yeah, that'll be all. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good day.